And if you think that government's meant to be limited, taxes lower, markets open to, you know, free markets as opposed to picking winners and losers, and I think this year was a very successful year, and maybe one of our best years in a long time. You know, a lot of what was in front of us this year had to do with working towards things that are opposite of that political point of view. So I think one of the biggest successes of the session was not to expand our budget by a billion dollars, not to expand Medicaid. And uh, by not doing that, that works towards the idea of limited government. But we're 48th in the nation for GDP, so that would uh, indicate to me that a lot of these programs that we have in order to bring jobs and manufacturing to our state aren't necessarily working. And uh, last, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, it was $629 million were redeemed in tax credits. About 499 of those were directly related to economic development or economic incentive tax credits. So that's $499 million. Um, that ultimately comes, you know, out of schools and other programs, other core functions of state government. Uh, I don't think that it's necessarily a core function of state government to um, promote economic development through any means other than making sure that we're doing things like protecting people's property rights, ensuring equality under the law and protections of people's liberty equally across the board under the law. Uh, there were a tremendous list of new targeted tax credit programs uh, you can pick your favorite word, winners and losers, crony capitalism. I, I like to use the term corporate welfare. Um, and there was a long list of new programs that were on the table in front of us. And um, with the exception of just one of those programs, which was restructured to where the state could break even, none of those new programs were put into law. And most significantly, we had two uh, relatively large but very high profile tax credit programs. I'm speaking to the land assemblage and new market tax credits both expired this year. So in the air of expanding tax credits, which you know our redemption levels last year were over $600 million. We began this road 15 years ago at a, you know, 10 or $20 million was the start. This is the first time where two programs that were extensively lobbied for failed to be renewed.